Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if I'll, I'll be getting Toxoids first, Laris. Not really uh, that important at the minute for me. Yeah, it's not really anything, but... Um... I mean, there's a... Um, a they're, add, they're adding a new um, super weapon for Toxoids. The um, planet killer... Well, turns the planet into a toxic... That's cool. But... Uh... It's definitely not. I, I got the Aqua ones. That was kind of neat. I played yeah. like two games with them. And like, I might play again, but uh, I think what they should have done was just make a DLC where they create all of these into one. And that would have been yeah. a little more, I don't know, exciting. Let's get Soviet support. Let's see if we can get the British to allow us to uh, rearm. That would be handy. That would be nice. I did see a new game advertised on. Twitch and um, um, Twitter today called the the, the, Wander the Wandering Village. It's basically it's, it's, it's a city builder, but the whole thing you are on a big like turtle type monster. Oh, okay. Um, it looks really good actually. It's basically it's a like simulation city builder, but it's, it's you're moving along with this big giant turtle type type creature, mm. and like the whole world's been. Like years after a big world c catastrophe, and you have to like rebuild civilization on this big creature's back. It looked really cool. Hello there. I love city builders. Yeah, I, I, I haven't played City Skylines for a while. I didn't get the last DLC, the airport's deal. Let's get. I think they've already got another one coming out as well. Like a more buildings DLC for it. For, it. for City Skylands? Yeah. Yeah, there's always DLC yeah. coming out for that game. You like Prison Architect? I think I have that on Epic. I haven't played that in a while, but it is, it's quite good. And now I've got the escapist. That's not Parallax. No. I do want to try that game. I, I, I think I played the a couple demos of it or something. Like I, I've tried it a little bit, but it'd be cool to really explore. It seems like a fun little game. Hmm. I need to start playing RimWorld again. That game is just... Not nice. Oh, indicate. Oh, at least the came was Slovenia. Did it say Napoleon's taking over France? It seems really early. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. Way to go, France. Oh, that means they're going crazy. Oh, crazier. Yeah. Uh. I'm trying to hang out Apex Legends, but there's skill cups. I did not get on well with Apex Legends. I was not good at that. I just, I just couldn't keep up with anybody. And I only ever played one character. Now it's um, I can't, I can't, I keep forgetting a name. Like the one of the basic characters, the default character. Is a healer, I think. Mod knows who it is, because he, 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 I played it with him. And I just struggled to keep up with anybody. I thought, you know what? I'll let other people play it, and if they want to watch them. I'm not a big fan of those free to play games. They're, they're, they're kind of cool, but. I mean, I, I, I did try Overwatch when it was free for a weekend once. 
I did two games and I spent the rest of the time just reading about the lore. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, uh, oh yeah, Lifeline, yeah. Play the Lifeline. And she is a healer, yeah. It was quite good. I just, I just, like I said, I just couldn't keep up with anybody. Um, I've never really played any other games like that. I'm definitely not going to play what the 90 quid it costs for Bloody Black Ops 4. Yeah. That's a lot. Why for another Paradox games are more chill? Yeah. I mean, even. Um, uh, Fallout 76 is a, is a very chill game. You can have a lot of you can just, just sit back and just explore in that game. That's what I tend to do. Find some find some bit of story and explore it. Build build your base. I mean, I spent most of the stream last night rebuilding my uh, rebuilding my camp. I built a new house and everything. Good thing that, because you can have like random players turn up and like if you got like a little vendor there that sells stuff, they'll come just buy stuff from you. Oh nice. So I had a few people come in and just buy all my spare ammo that I wasn't needing. I remember when that game came out, it was, it was wildly unpopular. It was a disaster. Uh, yeah. I was playing the uh, League of Legends when I was 11 and I loved the storyline and scene. Yeah, I did play some League of Legends as well. Um, problem is the one character I wanted to play as, everyone hates. Uh, which is uh, Timo. Because Timo suits my playstyle. Just, you know, sit back, for like, sit back reserve and just attack from a distance. Mm. Drop some mines, the little mushroom mines yeah, down. You, you do like snipers and stuff. Um, I'll be right back. No worries. You don't have to pause. Okay. No, no. I mean, I, sh I should get the sniper elite games. I'll probably be pretty good at those. Also, the log player are toxic. I'm playing in months, and random kid wants to report me because I. Stuck. Ah. I remember the few times I did PvP on Star Trek Online. I used the uh, uh, Defiant class, the, the retrofit that I unlocked. I what? Why I, I gained access to? Has which has the cloaking device. So I used it in the PvP fight, which is no, there's no restrictions. And the guy reported me, he accused me of cheating. He just didn't like the fact that I cloaked, got behind him, and then blew him up. With the, with the Defiant. He, he thought he was fighting against the Captain on the class Defiant. But no, he was fighting against the rear Admiral version of it. Oh, sorry, the Admiral version of it. Which was a lot stronger. So he blew up and then cried about it. Well, let's get let's integrate this Vino. And it's the broad socialist we need to integrate. I mean, how long have I got, got enough guns now? 498 days. Heck, got past. Wait, I was playing oh, CSGO when I was getting um, in, in level, um, oh, lobbies with 18 bots on CSGO. 
That's another game I've never played. Oh, nope, Civil War. Oh, fuck. Who am I? Damn it. I chose the wrong army. I hate when stuff like this happens. I always misunderstand what I'm supposed to be doing. The Irani Revolution. Hmm. I mean, you might actually feel. See, I wanted to be the I wanted to be the communists, not not the uh, yeah, not the guys that I am. But oh well. But yeah, I've already started down my communist path. So I can't stop it now. Well, we'll see what happens. I mean, if you leave it long enough, you might have another civil war. <laughs> The new capital is now Arantia, right on the far side of the country. Yeah, they kind of just like were dumb, and well, that's it really. No, friendly's not in circle. He's alright. Global games are peaceful, we will just annex all the Balkans. Yeah. Anyone who... The problem is, the only problem with going towards anybody in the Balkans is that Romania will step in pretty much every single time. Yeah. So... Hmm. Plus, Romania's being guaranteed themselves. Ah, I'm communist again. Good. It all worked out. There you go. I just had to double communism. Happens all the time. When it won't work the first time, do it again. Yeah, it's just, just all the communism. Oh, good, and I got to keep my guys too. That's that's good. Lots of communism. Let's justify a war goal on Kurdistan. El Comito Generico. How many guns do I have? Enough. We've actually got a decent meter as well. Oh, do I? I didn't even notice. Oh shit, I already have Mountaineers. There's Vino integrated, so no more civil war from those people. A bunch of little power. Dope. Now we're gonna now we're gonna integrate the broad socialist. Bulgaria, and next new Balkans of all things. Yeah, good luck. Everyone there is on their toes and ready to fight. side of him. Into all artillery. Let's get some anti-air. I don't know if I'll ever have the industry for planes. Oh, 
But it demonstrates our policy is a peace to the British. Then twice start declaring war on people. Um, oh yeah, I should make these guys better. Oh, I'll just notice something. Uh, Italy's having a civil war. Currently. <laughs> you just noticed. <laughs> Oh, uh, Jesus, well. <laughs> the Italian Social Republic versus the actual Kingdom of Italy. They're led by a table with people around it. I've never seen Italy have a civil war unless I start it as uh, Austria. Because you know, Austria can trigger a civil war in Italy. In this, in uh, in in Rodi Fifty Six, because they've got their own focus tree, which is quite big. For all... Well, what? Uh but I lost all my national spirits that I got from being. Damn it! <laughs> One of my national spirits that I get from doing this path is the actually two really good ones that I just don't get anymore. So harsh. so harsh. Well, Austria comes from the HRE. Yeah. And I think the Dutch can form the European Union. That picture of Napoleon the Sixth looks like he looks like he's about to stab somebody. We're gonna live without the nationalist national spirits. Well, we kind of need to get rid of these, so that's what I'm slowly working on. Or what was the question? No, I, I, how am I gonna get rid of my national spirits? I mean, I'm trying to. Oh yeah. Oh. Also, it looks like Napoleon the Sixth wants to stab somebody. So, Britain's going um, historical, Germany's going historical, Spain's going Spain. Probably the sixth is the base game looks like generic portrait. Now nah, that's... I think no, they're, they're, this model developer always tries to get like what they actually look like in history. I mean, Greece is a good a good country to play because you can form Byzantium and a bunch of other formal nations. In base game, yeah, not yeah. Yeah, it looks like Mussolini's gonna win. Really, this thing's gonna win. Usually, when there's uh, whatever. Yeah, he's got. Italy, do Italy. He's got a few more troops than uh, his opponent. Fifteen more days until I'm ready to go to war with, uh, with Kurdistan. Thirty days, then Britain will decide if I can rearm. Hopefully, I've done everything they could. Do it. We need to socially. <laughs> that funny thing in the Kaiserite mod, uh, Benito Mussolini is actually a socialist in that mod. He's syndicalist in that timeline. Oh, friend, friend, ready to create war in Luxembourg and Belgium and the Hindenburg survived. Oh, France is going mental. Uh, 
Oh, that's France too, <laughs> thing. The boy wants to shout you should get back to Belgium. You know, Rex. Yeah, that's back to Belgium. <laughs> I mean, he can fight off the French hordes with his shout. Okay, let's go to war with Kurdistan. Sorry, Kurds. Oh, I have planes. Didn't even realize. Array to the red ships. Uh, you know, you may not like the Kaiser Redux. I, I have, I've tried Kaiser Redux. Yeah. How was that game? Was even slower than. Uh... Well, the, the, mod, the mod didn't run very well. Get their loyalty up, then I can integrate the board socialists too. Yay! We can now we can now rearm. Nice. Oh, now I just need political power for other things. The peasants are, revol are revolting. The peasants are revolting. <sighs> yeah, we can still have fun with my case. Yeah, I'd like to try it again one day. See if they've updated it. Not that I can actually do any production right now because I've only got a really crappy industry. The French in Africa have got an update. Oh. Have they added the new um, Union of Britain flag yet into Kaiser Redux? In Kaiserreich, they changed the they update, they gave them a new flag. Which is actually much better than the old one. Although a lot of people didn't like it. I did. It's based off an actual uh, British Republican flag uh, idea that was made up. It can be one legionary like Romania and Bulgaria. That's one debuff missing. Done. Construction. <laughs> Down to two thousand two hundred guns in the negative. Yeah, that's the new one, yeah. That's the new one they added to the main mod a while ago. Yeah, a lot of people didn't like it. I actually thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, that flag. Yeah, because they, they had a, a a different one. So maybe they added the uh, new flag to Kaiser Redux as well. I do actually have Ka Kaiser Redux uh, downloaded. Oh, Paris has fallen. What? 
<laughs> oh, it's just some guy, like, I guess... He snaked to Belgium, Belgium took, dude. and then got caught off in Paris. <laughs> like, hang on a minute, how's Belgium beat him? I mean, yeah. they, they probably got the Dutch troops on their side as well. I would love to see them beat, beat France. I think it would be just the funniest guy to think Although, the troops that are in Paris, so Belgium, are starting to spread out again. What the hell is France doing? <laughs> 